Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Anatomy and Physiology Online. This is the Lecture and Lab Both. This is your humble instructor, Greg Barnhill. And this video is under the Week 1 tab, which you cannot see yet. I'll just show you your view. So right now, before I post this video, this is all you're seeing. Now, you can look through these tabs. In fact, I suggest you do. I was just under the Syllabus tab. This kind of shows you where to find everything. This video here does. But um, here's some textbook information, just general info about the course. Probably the most important tab, there's two of them. One is the schedule, which here's the lecture schedule here. And that is set in stone. <laughs> that will not change. Here are the due dates, end of week three. So all the assignments. Uh, up until this week, it says right here they're due during week three. These are due during week five. If you want a very specific date, the My Grades tab here is a very important tab. It gives you the date for each assignment. So if you're wondering if something's due or what am I doing, you can check this. It'll say upcoming and it shows all of the due dates for each one of these assignments. Here are the lessons, here are the exams. And then we have a lab portion too. So that's, that's always a very important schedule tab is very important. Here's the lab schedule. Um, didn't mean to make too many clicks. You don't want to do too many clicks, but I wanted it to be as organized as I could get it. So here's the lab schedule here. So what are you doing this week? Here's the late assignment policy that is also set in stone. Do not wait till the last minute to do something. Um, things can happen that are out of your control and you don't want to wait till the last minute. Here is the lecture folder. Here's the lab folder. So this first week in lecture, you can watch that video. It also shows you a little bit of info, but here is your study stuff. As you know, we do not require a textbook. It's considered optional. It's open stacks. But here is a PowerPoint, an outline, and a review. If you want a good starting place, you can either print this review out or copy it over and start filling it in based on what's in the outline and the PowerPoint. If you want an audible version, like if somebody's going through like we would in a lecture course, here's a video that goes through every single part of the outline and we go through it together. So just little explanations if you want that. So this week in lecture, you're going to do this lesson down here. So one comment, there's a the flash player ended December 31st, 2020. It's no longer available. This class is the last class that's going to be using these lessons because the lessons did use flash, but it's not going to affect your grade. So don't worry about downloading that or anything that you come across that says needs flash player. Just ignore that. Late assignment policy and then I'm going to click on this. Now um, I'm going to click on the link up there. It may look a little different for you, but here's the table of contents. These first couple of lessons, I'd like you to read through the instructions. You must click the finish button. That is found on the last page of uh, these lessons. In fact, while I'm thinking of it here, I'm going to go back real quick. Well, let me exit this actually. Sorry, <laughs> I'm supposed to make a video short. I'm already getting distracted. All right, I'm just going to go back. Anyway, what I was trying to do, I don't have this open yet, but I was going to do it to the student view. All right, so here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Now, here's a table of content. Once again, these first couple read through the instructions are always the same. Um, and you must use either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox to these lessons. Anything in Blackboard either two of those browsers. But um, don't worry about the flash time. The only thing you will need will probably be the Adobe Reader. But I'm going to jump over to page three. So here's where it starts. Here's some introductory stuff. And then down here at the bottom, a little motivational video. You see here it says this lesson is, a, is 75 questions. These are worth 10% of your grade. They're really for you to use to study and prepare for your exams. So there we go. I'm going to click on each one of these. 
Uh, I'm not even reading them really, but uh, okay, well, I got the first one right. You answer these questions, you can retry them, and you can do these lessons an unlimited amount of time to get 100. So there's no reason for you to turn one in that doesn't have 100, because you can do them over and over again. 99% of the questions you can retry, like this one. Look, I'm going to hit the retry button, and I can do them all again. So go through each page here. You want to make sure you answer. Your score will pop up. It's 148 points. So to get 100, you got to get 148 out of 148. Now, on the very last page, this is what you're going to do to submit your lesson. What I was trying to do was show you, but I'm not in the student view. The finish button will be right here. You must click that. If you do not click the finish button, it will not submit your lesson to the grade book and you will not get a grade. In fact, it will just show up. If you don't click the finish button, it will show up as nothing, period. It won't give you a grade at all. And then if the due date expires, you'll get a zero. So always click the finish button at the end. Always go, like here's the last question here. And this one, unfortunately, this is the last set of questions. And you can see up here it even says question 68 through 75. That's the last one. This one has an extra page. At one point, I had some games here to play and stuff, and I thought that was cool. Now I wish I had just left that off. But always go to the very last page, and that's where you're going to turn this in. Okay, these are 10% of your average. So go through, answer all the questions. That's a great place to start. And... Um, that's what you're doing in a lecture this week. Now, in the lab class, we're not doing um, lab kits or anything. You don't have to pay for anything. Here is an introductory video. But same thing. Here is a, a PowerPoint and an outline for you to look at. Now, this first week in lab, you actually have uh, one assignment and then a lab lesson. Now, this assignment, what you do... Here's the document. You're going to download that to your computer, save it, and then you're going to click here. What you're going to do is answer all the questions on it. I should have had this open already. I'm already... There's too many shiny objects in here. I'm already getting distracted. All right. Um, let me blow this up. So go through, answer all these questions, do a little research. You do not have to cite where you got your information from. Go through... Fill all these in, see these are tables, so you're going to click on them, fill in all the information. When you're done, save it to your computer with the answers, and then you're going to click here to upload it. See that button there? It says Browse Local Files. You're going to click on that. That's where you would pick out whatever your document you have it saved under. Yes, thank you. Now, Blackboard only accepts Microsoft Word. It will not work Google Pages. The, the Apple, um, Apple pages will not work, only Microsoft Word. If you're using a different format and you don't want to use Word, you have, a, you have free access to that as a Howard College student. It's where you, where you set up your email, you have access to Microsoft student version, and it's free for you if you want to do that. If you're not going to upload this, right here where it says write submission you click on that you can either type your answer in or you can copy and paste it from another document so like here is this let me go up this is now this is a word document but look see how you can copy this control c and then you're going to bounce back over here put the little cursor in and uh yes keep the format anyway boom see how it puts it in there for you you can do it that way and you can turn that in if you wish. If you're using something other than Microsoft Works or Word, basically. So that's what you're going to work on this week. And then you also have, let me go back if, it's let, if it lets me. Ah. Good old Blackboard. Here we go. Let me go down. So here is, uh, yeah, assignments for this unit. Uh, lab lesson. One more reminder, <laughs> you don't need to. Yeah, just don't turn your stuff in late, okay? It's just, you got to be able to follow a schedule. So here's a lab lesson. I'm going to click on this. Same thing. We're going to get started here. Uh, this is an introductory lesson. 
it's the same deal look so here's the the body planes don't worry about that well there that showed up but here we go it says assignment question 30 and these lessons they're kind of a little newer version my computer there we go same thing read through the pages you must click the finish button at the end uh, don't worry about a flash play or anything like that okay there's a little um, slide presentation if you want that but here's the introduction to anatomy a little motivation for you and then right here it says this lesson is 40 questions here's where you would start answering them same thing so you're gonna click on these click on this I'm not even reading these and it says check answers I got zero so these you have to keep going just they give you unlimited amount of attempts and then when you're done the very last page it says here press the finish button below and it, it'll be located below this arrow right here all right that's what you're going to do in lab this week and lecture this week if you have any questions um just email me but if you're curious about dates the my grades tab has all the dates for every assignment and you must under the brow this is under the course overview under browsers either mozilla firefox or google chrome and that's what's recommended is google chrome when you do anything in blackboard take exams you don't want anything to go wrong while you're doing it any other browser but these two will not work period safari microsoft edge internet explorer they will not work so don't use those all right that's what you're doing week one email me if you have any questions